What's up guys, and the time has finally arrived. Samsung is the company that listens to customers and they have now given us the ability to remap the Bixby key to any application. So this update rolled out for the Galaxy S10. And to my surprise, they are also allowing the older phones to get this Bixby remapping feature as well. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this on your phone. So I got the software update on my Galaxy S10 Plus here that enabled the Instagram mode as well as the Bixby remapping. I'll be doing a video on the Instagram mode pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. All right, so going to the settings, and going into advanced features, here you have the Bixby key option, which allows you to do two things. First is the single press to open the Bixby, which you normally have on your phone, which you accidentally press all the time. And then we have the problem solver thing here, which is the double press to open Bixby. So uh, by default, it's gonna be like this. So what you can do is you can enable this double press to open Bixby so that you don't have accidental presses. After setting the double presses to open Bixby, you can set the single press to open an application. So I have set it to open the Instagram app for my usage. If I go here, as you can see, it just opens up my Instagram, quickly jumps into it. So whatever most use application you have, you can remap that application to the single press. And similarly, if you do single press to open Bixby, you can set the double press uh, for your custom application. So pretty much you can set any application out of your uh, app list. And then you also have the option to run a quick command. So uh, some commands here by default, like productivity, daily routine, lifestyle, and play, something that is suggested by the Bixby. And of course, you can create your own commands as well. So first you have to enter what you want to say to execute this command so I just added this take picture thing and then you have to enter the command so you have a list here so lots of options to do here for example I want camera so I'm just gonna add camera here these are some of the commands we have for the camera like change the camera to pro mode or change to the front camera open camera settings I'm just gonna have it take picture and now in my command section I have this command so once your command is saved you could just go here and have it do the action so I'm just gonna uh, double press this to launch and it says take a picture look at that it's just open the camera it takes a picture and that's how you do Bixby remapping cannot get rid of Bixby completely if you want to turn off the Bixby home, you can do that from here. You still have one of the actions for the Bixby. That's just how Samsung will do. Uh, they are doing their own thing as well, but they are giving you what you asked for, which is uh, having any application remapped to this key. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to remap the Bixby key on the older devices. So uh, this will work for Galaxy S9, S9 Plus, S8, S8 Plus, Note 8, and Note 9. So far, it is only released or enabled for the flagship phones. I've tried out on the mid-rangers, the Galaxy A9 2018, the world's first quad camera phone. It doesn't work. So it has to be Android 9.0 Pi, I guess, to make it work. I'm not sure, but currently it is for the flagships. So first up, go to your Galaxy Store, which is the same Samsung application store, start it up, and from here you need to search Bixby. Now once you search Bixby, you will get the Bixby home, and from here uh, you need to update the Bixby home application, it's about 8.47 MB. Alrighty, it is installed, and alright, next you have to launch the Bixby by pressing the Bixby key, then go ahead and check out settings, uh, scroll down here, all the way to about Bixby voice, and here, if it's the older version, it will show you the update. So this is actually the older version, 2.0.46.20. So that has to be, I think, 3 point something. But once you go here, it takes you to the store again and then update to the latest version. All right, once the update is installed, go back and then launch the Bixby once again. Uh, go into your settings. And here you will see the option for the Bixby key and boom, this is the new option for remapping the Bixby key to any application. So like I said, set the double press to open the Bixby and then remap any application or a quick command for that single press. So uh, let's see, we're just gonna remap Instagram. And once I open this, as you can see, Instagram is here. 
nice and quick most likely this update will roll out to other mid-range phones as well uh, currently i think it's mainly for the 9.0 pi i think once you get the 9.0 pi on the older phones you should be able to have this feature with you as well and no you cannot remap the google voice assistant or any other voice assistant to your big speed that is blocked but that's not a big deal you can still launch the google assistant by the home key which is really good then use the big speed key to launch a command or an application so a uh, really nice feature thank you so much samsung again and uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below i will see you guys in the next one peace out